guys, this is Heather with Book Junkie, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. I had this book recommended to me by one of my friends. We always recommend books to each other, so that's why I read this one. I would overall give this book a 3.8 out of 5. Now, the only reason why I'm giving this this rating is because it took me a long time to read it. It was a very slow book. Um, but overall, it was a very good book. It is a historical fiction, and usually I don't mind reading historical fiction books, but it seems like the only ones I really like are by Kristen Hanna, because Kristen Hanna is just amazing. So that's why I gave this a 3.8 out of 5. This book takes place in 1919 and 1966. So in 1919, there is a woman named Angelica. She is a model, a muse for many different artists. She often has to pose naked for the sculptures that she has. And her artwork that she posed for is all over New York. And this book does take place in New York. And Angelica's real name is Lily. So Lily is kind of in the middle of this murder that happens in her apartment. She is no longer... Um, modeling because not many people want her anymore she's losing her money and this murder happens and somehow she became one of the prime suspects for this murder even though she had nothing to do with it so the cops end up coming to her home and she flees she grabs a bag and leaves home so she's wandering around New York very hungry very thirsty and happens to come upon this Magnolia Palace and someone offers her to come in for tea and they think that she is there for an interview for being Miss Helen's secretary. And at first she's like, no, that's not me. I just want the tea. But she goes through the interview and ends up getting the job. And what she wants to do is go to California and become a movie star known as Angelica because everyone loves her over there and people are looking for her. So she's like, hey, I'm just going to take this job just to get enough money for me to go to California and then I am just going to leave once I have the money. So she becomes this private secretary for Miss Helen and the she's part of Miss Helen is part of the Frick family, um, Mr. and Mrs. Frick. They are very wealthy in this Magnolia Palace. There is artwork everywhere. This book is very based on art, painting, sculptures. A lot that I don't know much about and I'm not really into art um, so maybe that's why I didn't really enjoy this book as much because I don't really understand art most of the time I'm more of a science science gal and now modeling is viewed as bad um, back in the day in 1919 because people think oh you had to pose for money like that's not good that's not ladylike so that's why Lily her real name um, she uses her real name for the secretary position and she is not known by no one knows that Lily's real name is Lily when people talk about Angelica everyone thinks it's just Angelica so she can easily get by by saying hey I'm Lily oh yeah I look like her but that's not me my name's Lily because it is so she lives in uh, this Magnolia Palace and becomes a secretary and a lot's going on there um, she's living her life it's very different from her usual life but she ends up really liking it and caring for this family and then the book goes back and forth between 1919 and 1966 so on the 1966 side there is this woman Veronica she is also a model and she is from England and she goes to the Magnolia Palace because of a photo shoot well, the photo shoot kind of went wrong. She kind of lashed out at the photographer and got kicked out of the photo shoot. And when she is sad, she's looking around the Magnolia Palace, trying to get ready. And the whole entire modeling group, photographer, everyone leaves her in the Magnolia Palace. So she's stranded in there. She The doors are locked. She, they're in the middle of a snowstorm. There's no... Um, no lighting or electricity or anything like that so she doesn't know what to do the only other person there is an intern that works for the magnolia palace and their artwork division so they find this scavenger hunt papers that was made by miss helen in 1919 and the scavenger hunt just has all these riddles on each one that 
pertain to a painting or an art piece in the Magnolia Palace. And once they find the art piece that it pertains to, there's another clue. Now, at the end of the scavenger hunt, it is said that there is the Magnolia Stone at the end, which gone, which has gone missing. No one knows where it is. No one filed a police report. So everyone kind of just stopped looking for it. But it's this huge gem, one of a kind. And Veronica's like, I need this so I can sell it and I can have money. So she tries to do the scavenger hunt um, just to buy time because they're stranded in this house and no one's going to come for them until the storm passes, which is a few days. So it is very interesting. A lot does happen. More happens towards the end, but I don't want to give anything away um, about the ending at all. So one thing I did not like about this book was it's set back in the day. But I felt like there weren't a lot of historical references in the book as there should be. It, I felt like it was just a storyline that's set back then, but like times are, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> times are different between now and back in 1919 or even back in 1966. But they don't talk about those differences on how life is now and back then. I guess it's because it was back then but I like to view that I like to know how people lived differently back then and what we have now and that just didn't happen so I wasn't a huge fan but it was a really good read it was just a slow read but if you do like historical fiction then you probably will love this book but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button so you can view more. And please feel free to leave any book recommendations in the comments. Obviously, I love recommendations. This book was a recommendation. So please do so. Thank you so much. Bye.